so I'm going to replace my uh, my door so I'm gonna remove this 13 mm bolt one two three four and then this stopper it's 10 mm bolts and then uh, remove this uh, wiring here so I could just like take this off and then disconnect it from here got this uh, two 10 mm bolts out for the stopper Okay, yep. we're gonna do the 13 mm here yep. during the first uh, bolt. Just loosen it first. Let's imagine how uh, how dirty this one is. I think probably they they did some uh, mud trekking in this one, off-road stuff. But I don't know, it's kind of strange because the uh, the front drive axle was removed. So I'm just uh, trying to loosen them up first. Once they're loosened, uh, I'm gonna take this wire loom. Now to take the wire loom, just like uh, pry this out. Shoot uh, this plastic shoot just right out of it. And once, uh, once it's out, yeah, there's a party in the background. Once this is out, just disconnect this one. Yep, so I got it disconnected. Yep. This thing should be okay. And then we're gonna start loosening all the bolts and then throw, the, throw this door So out. once they're all out, we could take the inner ones out first. This one, then below, then this, this is the last one. This is the one holding it up, so this has more tension in it. So pretty much a Jeep without doors. Yep. So I'm gonna remove that uh, trim over there. So I got the uh, the new one placed in and then I'm putting in the connector uh, so that it will not get squished when I move stuff but they are held in by bolts now temporarily I will tighten them after this is in place so we're gonna position this better okay got that uh, boot in and now we're ready to tighten this Nuts. Okay, got the got this door stopper last. So finally, I got the seats. We got the uh, the doors now. Now it's locking. And then the driver seat. It looks really clean now still have to do the shifter and then the ABS issues so locks unlock so the new door locks unlock 